Hey guys, it's Krishanti with Krishanti.com talking about psychic and intuitive development and personal and spiritual growth. And what I want to just chat about a little bit today is when you're working on psychic development and opening up to your clairvoyant abilities and um, clairaudient skills and, and all of that, like just instant knowing and intuition and everything, um, the whole thing is when you're working on something that's really fun, that excites you, the better you'll get at, at doing this. And here's an, an instance for you. Um, I know how to do remote viewing, which is like traveling with your consciousness to view something that's like not right in front of you. And um, I love teaching my students how to do it too. And they're usually pretty good what I think might be happening with the people that I'm working with is that I'm giving them kind of like fun, interesting things to check out. Now I went to a remote viewing workshop, um, gosh, like last year to boost my skills because I don't think I'm that scientifically good at it because I actually, I do like, um, I kind of am in this groove where when I'm working with my clients, that's fun. And I'm like, so I'm good at that. And then other psychic stuff, it's, it's just like all kind of in the realm of fun and remote viewing is more, it is very like scientific or there's, it's like dude oriented, like a lot of like, um, really good remote viewers are like guys and it has this whole military background and everything. So for me, it's not, that exciting um, the targets that they choose for you to look at so I went to this workshop and um, and like there there was a t the target which is like they, they they'll give you some coordinates or some they'll identify like a photograph for example with a number and then they'll just tell you the number and then you do this certain technique and you describe what the thing is and um, I was a little bit distracted to and the person next to me had a lot of nervous energy. So he was like, he was like tapping. And then, then he was literally I'm like, am I just being sensitive and crazy? And then I looked at him and he's literally like going like this, like he had that much energy. So that threw me off. Um, and then I think I was nervous as I wanted to be so right and everything wasn't that great. Okay. My thing, um, what the actual target was was like this weird metal thing like it's on a stick and it like reflects the sun which to me um it's just not that exciting and it's like well uh, you know um one woman in the front i just like super amazing she drew it with she drew verbatim the photograph like to, it was perfection and I left feeling like <laughs> you know even though I've been doing this for a long time and the people say I'm like really good at it I was like hmm, I guess I'm not that great at the remote viewing aspect but I was training my student Courtney who's like incredible she has clear sight she's so clairvoyant and I had her do a remote viewing experiment where I was like why don't you jump you know the hotter the technique and then she jumped over into my home and I said like look in my closet and she's a girly girl like me and loves clothes and she just was so accurate it was hilarious like to the point where she knew she saw that I had reorganized my workout clothes like by color and it was all neat in the drawer and then she goes I see to the right all these beautiful clothes with with like all these colors and all this like um like like beading and and embroidery and sequins and everything and it it took me a minute and then I actually looked and I was like oh my god that's where all my Indian clothes are like all on that side of the closet and then she saw all my shoes and she even took it a step further and said I'm not wearing high heels enough and it was just a hoot it was so funny um because it was fun for her so it was like easy and she wasn't scared because it was with me and I was her trainer and she knows I'm awesome and I'm like I'm really nice and stuff so her guard was down she wasn't 
nervous or anything like that. And that's how it can be for you. If you're practicing psychic development, I have a program called um, Activate Your Psychic Superpowers if you want to check it out on my website that my teacher Deborah Katz and I um, did together. Um, that has like a bunch of lessons that you can follow um, with meditations to get super psychic and stuff. But um, it is, it is, I've seen it in workshops with people too, that if, if they're interested in the subject, they will fly with, with what they're doing. And if they're not, they will stop themselves. Um, I've even seen students like so terrified of, of being a right or wrong in a reading, like a practice reading that I'm leading them through that they'll make themselves like be wrong or they'll not make themselves be wrong. Um, but they will stop the flow of energy and the flow of information out of fear of being wrong. Um, and then they'll second guess themselves and they won't just like let it all out and let their imagination like, like fly. Imagination and intuition are like best friends. They go hand in hand, they work together. And so um, you will be feeling like, well, here's the thing. If you're like me and you follow my school of thought, you will be feeling like you're imagining things and then, then you'll realize that you're not and it's actually super psychic and inaccurate that way. But if you're a different type of person and you prefer to be more analytical and do it that route, that's where the classic remote viewing techniques that's very scientifically oriented and very like cut and dry. Everything is documented. Everything is numbered. There are like there's like a set procedure to doing it, then that's what will work for you. But you won't be doing like touchy feely readings with people. You'll be doing like hard line data, like analysis or um, doing things like with the outcome of um, sporting events or stock market stuff um, or whatever all else they're they're doing right now geography and and all of that so either avenue is fun but what i've seen with my kind of thing like i said before is the more the more excited you are the better you'll be at it and that's all i just wanted to talk about today if you're into um learning more about all this check out krishanti.com that's where i live on the world wide web and um, that's all for now i'll see you next time thanks bye